Hey YouTube, this is uh, Kevin here and uh, part two of the video of the uh, KM100 conversion from uh, points to electronic ignition. Okay, so it's about a um, couple hours after I did the last video. So I was in the house and it's extremely hot, but we got a clear, beautiful, gorgeous blue sky. Thank you, Lord. I mean, you can see how bright everything is. It's just freaking bright out here. So anyway, um, I hopefully you can see the video without too much sunlight. I mean, it is freaking cooking. The breeze is helping now. Okay, so here's what here's where we're at. Okay, I've been picking away at this thing a little bit. So this is the bracket I made, just like I did on my KE100. Um, and I used a factory factory mounting hardware. And as always, I'm going to suggest to you guys that you use the, um, what do you call it there? Put the fuel tank on and make sure that nothing's going to hit, crack. You know, it, it's a solid mount. So make sure, and I got just enough clearance on so we're good on this. Um, but you always want to make sure that your stuff is 100%, is you know. Because there's a little bit of an air gap there, so that's good. It's a really close, really tight tolerances. I bent it down and up so it stays where it needs to be. And as always, when you're doing these, you have to put the spark plug tip on for this type of coil. Better connection, really. Um, don't forget your ground. And I made the jumper wire to go from the, the uh, speed connector there to the push-in type. So I just did that. I already did a video on these electricals, so... Sorry about that. Okay. So I made the push-in connector so it goes inside there. And then I made the blue connector. What you can see some of the heat shrink right there. So it's all nice and tight. Everything's where it needs to be, supposed to be. And looks professional, looks good. Because we don't want anything not looking decent, you know what I mean? That just kind of takes away from it, you know? So actually, I'm going to put you down because I, I don't like the way this is looped down like that. So I'm going to fix that real quick. All right, turns out my strap is worn out. So kind of stuck with it like that for now I put a battery back in it um, I haven't ran the thing as you can uh, as you can tell I'll touch the exhaust oh son of it no just kidding just kidding nice and cold engine hasn't ran so this is gonna be the first first start Got the key everything's nice and cold there should be enough fuel in the thing to fire it off if not I'll have to pull the fuel tank on I haven't ran this this vehicle this bike in a couple of weeks um, just because of the, I've been driving the hell out of my KE100. So, there she is. And I'm going to try doing a sidekick on it. Ready? Oh, oh that ain't going to work. <laughs> oh, there we go. One check. That's all she needed. Got a lot. I gotta adjust that oil. I'm gonna do a video on the uh, how to adjust that oil again. I gotta do that. To load it up. I think I might have a leaky uh, oil pump. Yeah, I do. Oh yeah, she's loaded right up. But as you can see, other than the smoke, we're gonna shut it off before I bring the gag. Just load it up. I gotta let that burn out. But anyway, there she is. I gotta uh, turn down my oil up because I am pumping way too much oil onto this motor. That's probably like a 15 to 1 mix. <laughs> but you can see how nice it idles, even with all that oil in there. I gotta shut that out. I'm gonna gag. I gotta turn down that oil up. Um, definitely have to turn that down. Ooh, Smoky Joe's right there. But, um, anyway, as you can tell, the electronic ignition works just fine. And, uh, the only thing left to do to this bike is fix that damn oiler. So, that's my next thing to do on this. So, as always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have any questions or comments. Um, I love doing these videos for you guys, and, um... Hopefully you get everything, all the info you need. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching.